Yes, sir. My name is David, and I'm from Camas, Washington. Hi, David. And uh, but first of all, I want to let everybody know, since this is the thing tonight, that I'm a Marine Corps vet. Thank you. And like you, I did swear an oath to defend my constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Yeah. I heard you say tonight about educating our children, indoctrinating our children, whatever you want to call it. Well, I didn't say indoctrinating. So stay away from my kids. I also heard you say that you're going to let us keep our health insurance. Well, thank you. It's not your right to decide whether or not I keep my current plan or not. That's my decision. I've heard recently in the media, you and some other people on the national political stage call us brown shirts because no, we oppose them. No, I did not. I, what I said I, was, I, and I've apologized for it. So. Okay, well, thank, thanks for apologizing, but let, uh, I won't speak to you, then I'll speak to others. But I'll remind you, a little history lesson. The Nazis did not, the Nazis were the National Socialist Party. They were leftists. They were... They took over the finance. They took over the car industry. They took over health care in that country. If Nancy Pelosi wants to find a swastika, maybe the first place she should look is the sleeve of her own arm. constitutional oath, as you know. What I want to know is, as a Marine, as a disabled veteran that served this country, I have kept my oath. Do you ever intend to keep yours? Yes, sir. 